Fourth Summer Musicals continues its Broadway contemporary series with Fiddler on the Roof, winner of nine Tony Awards and the New York Drama Critics Circle Award for Best Musical. If I were a rich man, Returning to the role of Tevye, one of the best love characters in American theater is Broadway star Theodore Bikel. Lord who made the lion and the lamb, you decreed I should be what I am. Bikel says Tevye and all the people of Fiddler on the Roof speak a universal language. I very well see a man. Tevye, the role that I'm playing is sort of a, an everyman character. Uh, you don't have to be Jewish, you don't have to be a milkman, you don't have to be poor, uh, uh, you don't have to be religious uh, or, uh, or attempt to keep tradition, but there is something in this play and in this role that speaks to, to just about everybody. Um, it makes the uh, unfamiliar, very familiar. One familiarity is the joy and robustness in Bikel's performance, despite the fact that he's performed the role so many times. Well, close to 1700. Yeah, the, it, I always, when people ask me about that, it's, it's, it's a totally meaningless item. I know in America everybody quantifies everything. How many, how much, how many, how much, how many people, how many people buy the books, how many, not how good is it, but how many. Uh, and quantification is, is, is really in a sense nonsense. Uh, you do a lousy play and twice is too many. To life, to life, in his countless tours of the show, Bikel sees a consistent thread that connects all audiences, no matter their cultural background. I have played this in places that were, where the composition of the audience was most unlikely. In Hawaii, half of my audience is not only were not Jewish, they were not Caucasian. Um, so I would come out the stage door and there would be these uh, Oriental faces, and I would ask them, what does this play mean to you? Uh, uh, Jews, pogroms, Russians, well, what does it mean? And they would say tradition. Tradition, we know what it means when children won't, don't want to follow the tradition of their, of their fathers. Has the right as master of the house to have, have the final, final word at home. The the papa, papa, the papa. Tradition, the papa. And of course, the haunting melodies of universal themes are another connection audiences readily make to this show. The human experience is, is something quite wonderful because, and especially when you have the, 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 the visceral capability or the intellectual capability to, to bridge gaps. Uh, you read something and, and it's, it's totally alien to your own uh, knowledge, your own life, and yet it, it speaks to you, a piece of poetry, a piece of literature, and certainly theater because theater sort of jumps over the footlights and grabs you by the, by the neck. Bikel says the experience of Fiddler on the Roof is one that continues to grab audiences. It is something that uh, no um, sentient human being should be without. At some time in their lives, they should be touched by Fiddler. Uh, I, f I really believe that. I'm not just saying that because I'm in it and, and these are the... the uh, this is the bread, uh, the bread that I bake and, and I want people to eat it while it's fresh. Uh, no, it's because it's good, because it's good. It's 
then you love me. I suppose I do. And I suppose I love you too. It doesn't change a thing, but even so, after 25 years, it's nice to know. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.